Nigeria Immigration Service has named social media personality Okunneye Idris, known as Bob Risky, as a person of interest in the, an ongoing investigation. Bob Risky was intercepted at the same border while allegedly attempting to flee the country. Illegal troubles began in April 24 when he, 2024 when he sentenced to six months in prison for Naira abuse. The report was moved from prison after three months. Three reports claim that he moved from prison uh, just after three weeks, sparking bribery allegation. The situation escalated when a leak audio recorded in September 2024, suggesting that Bobrisky accused human rights lawyer Femi Falano and his son, musician Files, of seeking 10 million naira for a presidential pardon during his impersonation. But Falano and Files issued a case and desist, desist later, demanding a restriction while Bobrisky denied claiming he was responding for the recording the nis confirmed bob risky's interception and ongoing investigation into alleged corruption involving his detention a panel investigating the case found no evidence that bob risky was released earlier but noted he received special privilege during his imprisonment this privilege include a furnished single cell frequent family visits and access to phones and personnel amenities. The personnel is investigating whether these privileges were as a result of corruption. Additionally, the panel confirmed an unrelated case where Abdulazik Mena soon transferred money to correctional officers' personnel account, which was demand on, deemed unethical. All right. Um, Mr. Nathan, this is another one here. You know that the person of interest uh, as we speak right now is Bob Risky and uh, you, uh, if you have checked on social media you will notice that a lot has been going on between him and the very dark man and uh, they, he, Bob Risky was supposed to appear in the House of Representatives for questioning but he didn't go and even uh, the other people involved did not equally appear to accept very dark man and his lawyer and last just yesterday Bob Risky was supposed to be in the House of Rep he was invited again but instead of Bob Risky going to a house of rape for questioning, he was rather moving to Nigeria Republic and he was caught at the same border, though he's under detention now. Now, for Bob Risky, we don't know whether he was trying to escape, we don't know what exactly he was doing. And the voice note that I've been flying around that they are saying is AI. How do you think that Bob Risky actually did this and he's trying to escape or? Maybe we're just trying to do his normal routine tour. What do you think? Okay, so I think that because um, when you, when you analyze action based on reaction, so therefore, they said that, I think it's, there's a legal term, they said that the person that has a clean hand does not fear you can go to uh, uh, the judicial or so. If he said that he is innocent and that there is no bribery related to his detention, he should have gone to the House of Rep to defend himself. The first instance he didn't go, the second one, he was now found escaping, if you allow me to use the word. So therefore, I would believe as a person, an observer, I would believe that it could be true that what the very dark man accused him and why, what the uh, has been calling to come and defend this or speak about what he said is true. If there, was, if there were lies regarding this or they were not true, he would have normally gone to that place, he would have gone to defend himself or to prove the accusation that it is wrong. So, therefore, I would take it that he was trying to escape. Perhaps he has been put in a tight corner and a lot of evidences are showing that what uh, very dark man found is true. And again, in the record, uh, it was, I mean, uh, of course, they actually clarified something yesterday that uh, Bob Risky did not spend his 
a pre prison time in a special building, but rather that special apartment, but rather he was in, they call it a furniture uh, prison. That is a mini prison. Should we call it like that? So if they have clarified his name in that part, why is Bob Risky still running? Uh, Mr. Nathan, wh what do you think? So, do we have some furnished places that are still called prison, apart from the creek, or this place that I'm talking about, he spent his time by detention there also, he served there, is it within the creek? Well, that is, I don't know what I, that, 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 I should take that as a rhetorical question, but that is what we heard. So that is in the prison. We should ask ourselves because if they are coming to say, oh, he spent the, he, he, his time, his uh, service time, he spent it in the Greek, but it was a furnished dressing. So is the furnished facility attached to the Greek, or it was out of the Greek, somewhere else that they are for special people? We should be asking those questions because if it is somewhere else that is for special people and um, with privileges, of course. And of course, uh, for people that say that perhaps, perhaps it may be that they, they give some tips or pay something for them to be in that place instead of being in the general world, that is already indicting which both the, the government and even the Bob Risky is also, this, the, it comes back to them or comes back at them too. So obviously, this may be some factors that influence him to be in another direction while he was expected to be in another location. All right. Uh, uh, thank you, Mr. Nathan. Uh, Bob Risky said uh, the voice notes that was circulated, uh, circulating online wasn't his, but rather AI. And then uh, Bob Risky, normally, if you see Bob Risky in a normal day, he will want to keep up, like wear makeup, look, be look beautiful or handsome beautiful. But this particular time, Bob Risky did not wear anything apart from the hair. Maybe if he has realized that this was a big deal, he would have losing the hair as well. But uh, him not wearing makeup, could it be that he was trying to hide his identity? And why did he have to move on a Sunday morning when he knows that he has a big, uh, should I call it, a, I mean, a, a, a big invitation on Monday? What happened? Well, after the investigation, we will come back and give you and tell you what happened. <laughs> All right.